Okay, we have been watching all of this, folks, as we head toward the 6 o'clock hour and the impact we're going to see here throughout the metro area. Let's take a quick look. Well, let's talk, talk about this real quickly. The fact of the matter of it is the entire metroplex under a tornado watch and the impact could be changing in certain areas. Let's talk to Dominus Brown about this in terms of as we head, as I mentioned, to the 6 o'clock hour and where this weather is moving right now. Yeah, absolutely. That watch until 11 o'clock tonight, that means conditions are favorable for tornadoes to develop. And we have a tornado warning, in effect, for our southern areas and you'll see it right there at the bottom of your screen. Hey Jeff, you'll see it right there mainly for areas in limestone, freestone counties until 630 this evening. We zoom out. It's going to be in the far southern reaches of the area, uh, not getting uh, great indications of rotation because it's so far away uh, from the radar site. But this is a confirmed tornado. They've had reports of funnel clouds in this region here over limestone county, pushing mainly to the east and northeast at about 35 miles an hour. So that's going to take it into areas just west of I-4. 45 pretty soon uh, south of Fairfield, but east northeast movement. And so about 35 miles an hour, you're going to see just a few areas here toward New Hope at 556, 558 at Fair Oaks, Fairer there at 558, and near the Doney community at 605. If you have family and friends, especially in limestone, freestone counties here, make sure you're giving them a call. Let them know that they have a tornado warning for until 630 uh, for these two counties, especially go to the lowest level of the home, go to the most interior portion of your home, and put as many walls between you and the storm outdoors. Get away from those outside windows. And this is the first tornado warning that we've seen for our viewing area, southern reaches of the area. But again, for limestone, freestone counties until about 6:30 this evening that we have a tornado warning. Otherwise, as we zoom out a bit more, you'll notice the metroplex is dry from rain at this point. But we have uh, the dry line over to the west of us, and we've got to watch out for this as it kind of nudges in and brings in the opportunity for some showers and storms. We've been tracking a couple areas here, Jack County here, also areas toward Palo Pinto County and this one here that still has a severe thunderstorm warning until about six o'clock this evening. That's for Erath County, a storm that continues mainly moving to the southeast and it's been producing quite a bit of hail and some damaging winds as well. So we're watching it very closely. Also keeping an eye on another storm, uh, severe thunderstorm warning at least for Van Zant County uh, and it looks like we've got a couple of those but uh, you'll see Van Zant County, Rain Co Rains County as well. Uh, we've got a, a thunderstorm, a couple of those. Uh, this was for Smith County, and that will be about 645. How about Ben's in at 615? And so we're watching thunderstorms producing quite a bit of hail at this point, gusty winds, and these are moving mainly to the northeast. So we've had a round of showers and storms. We even have some to the north. All right, so it's been keeping us busy toward the Red River. You'll see Grayson County here. Uh, we've had a severe thunderstorm warning even for areas a bit closer to Cook County, and those storms are mainly pushing away from the Metroplex, but we've got another round that we need to watch out for as we continue going through the rest of this evening. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to Futurecast and show you what we're expecting for the next few hours. I showed you this at the top of the show. Just understand we've had one round of showers and storms to push through, a lot of hail, damaging winds as well, but hail has been a big threat. Now we're watching out for this line here from the dry line to push eastward. And as it gets its act together, there's that chance that we have rough weather towards 6 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock, right over Dallas. All right, the model saying 645, closer to 7, right over McKinney, Sherman, all the way down toward Hill County here and pushing toward Waxahachie. And then as we start to move a bit closer to 815, 9 o'clock, you'll start noticing gradual clearing from west to east. So this wet weather won't last all night long. We'll see gradual clearing skies, better weather as we're heading to bed tonight. But Jeff, we still have that tornado watch that we still need to be keeping in mind as we go through the next few hours here. That watch that means conditions are favorable to see tornadoes to develop. And as these thunderstorms continue to come in from the west, we're going to be watching that. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised even in a few minutes we might see a, one of these storms that's up by the Red River throw out a tornado warning itself because the, the instability going on in the atmosphere is just ripe for tornado development with these individual cells. By the way, overnight, all this moves off uh, to the east and uh, you can sleep safely uh, through the evening hours and through the overnight and wake up with just a few clouds we think by tomorrow morning and then what, what does your Monday look like well Monday looks pretty good uh, it looks like temperatures will get into the 90s by the way we might end up with one of the warmest days we've had since last fall on Tuesday, however, there is another first alert. We have alert day for Tuesday, and that's going to fall in the afternoon and the evening because we're going to get up to 85 degrees and then watch some thunderstorms develop along the dry line and roll towards us. Wednesday, on the other side of the cold front, will only be in the 60s. So real quick about Tuesday, 
We, we have, again, dry line thunderstorms and the cold front catching up with it just as it goes into the Metroplex. So this is at the end of the day, Tuesday into the evening, where we could get in this area some severe weather. So already the first alert weather team is warning you about Tuesday afternoon, the next round of severe weather in here. Then we got a couple of cooler days. You see we're in the 60s all the way to Friday before the next storm system comes in on Friday and Saturday. Stay with us.